everyone, I'm Danielle. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today, we'll be discovering the Whitewater Canal. The Whitewater Canal began as an idea in 1823 as a transportation waterway from Hagerstown, Indiana to Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Come on, we'll teach you more about it. The 76 mile project broke ground in 1836 and finished in 1847. The canal was built by young immigrant Irishmen using only shovels and carts. The work was grueling, and if by chance a worker would die during a day of work, they would be buried along the towpaths. Over the 76 mile journey, the Whitewater Canal dropped 491 feet between Hagerstown and Lawrenceburg, which required a total of 56 locks and seven dams to navigate the boats along the route. One lock has been restored and many others are still intact if you know where to look. The Whitewater Canal was short-lived and ceased to operate by 1862 when a series of floods washed portions of the canal out. The railroads were coming into favor and usually the railroad companies would buy out the canal companies and build their rail lines on the already built towpath while leaving the canal to succumb to nature. The canal is still very visible along many portions of the former route 150 years later. Several aqueducts were built along this canal to carry the boats across other waterways. Once again, if you know what to look for and where, you can find evidence of these aqueducts all along the former route. Here we are at one of the aqueducts that crossed over Dry Fork Creek. This bridge abutment was built back in the 1850s and it's still used for modern traffic today. In 1839, Ohio and the city of Cincinnati decided to tap into the Whitewater Canal by building a canal from Cincinnati to Harrison, where the two canals would meet, hence Canal Junction. The Whitewater Canal followed along the west side of the Whitewater River into Lawrenceburg, Indiana, draining into the Ohio River near the location of Hollywood Casino and Oxbow. The Cincinnati Whitewater Canal followed alongside the east side of the Whitewater River on into Cincinnati, Ohio. Thanks again for tuning in to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we spent time in West Harrison, Indiana and we learned about the Whitewater Canal. I hope you enjoyed learning about it. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. See you later. Mm -hmm.